Immortar and pestle is a device used since ancient times to prepare ingredients or substances by crushing and grinding them into a fine paste or powder. The mortar is a bowl, typically made of hardwood, ceramic or stone. The pestle is a heavy and blunt club-shaped object, the end of which is used for crushing and grinding. The substance to be ground is placed in the mortar and ground, crushed or mixed using a pestle. Mortars and pestles have been used in cooking up to the present day. They are frequently also associated with the profession of pharmacy due to their historical use in preparing medicines. They can also be used in masonry and in other types of construction. History Scientists have found ancient mortars and pestles that date back to approximately 35,000 BC. Etymology The English word mortar derives from classical Latin mortarium, meaning, among several other usages, receptacle for pounding, and product of grinding or pounding. The classical Latin pistolum, meaning pounder, led to English pestle. The Roman poet Juvenal applied both mortarium and pistolum to articles used in the preparation of drugs, reflecting the early use of the mortar and pestle as a pharmacist's or apothecary's symbol. The antiquity of these tools is well documented in early writing, such as the Egyptian Ebers Papyrus of Tilda 1550 BC and the Old Testament. Uses Medicine mortars and pestles were traditionally used in pharmacies to crush various ingredients prior to preparing an extemporaneous prescription. The mortar and pestle, with the rod of Vasclopius, the orange cross, and others, is one of the most pervasive symbols of pharmacology, along with the show globe. For pharmaceutical use, the mortar and the head of the pestle are usually made of porcelain, while the handle of the pestle is made of wood. This is known as a Wedgwood mortar and pestle and originated in 1779. Today the act of mixing ingredients or reducing the particle size is known as trituration. Mortars and pestles are also used as drug paraphernalia to grind up pills to speed up absorption when they are ingested, or in preparation for insufflation. Food preparation mortars are also used in cooking to prepare ingredients such as guacamole, gazpacho and pesto, as well as grinding spices into powder. The molcajeta, a version used by pre-Hispanic Mesoamerican cultures including the Aztec and Maya, stretching back several thousand years is made of basalt and is used widely in Mexican cooking. Other Native American nations use mortars carved into the bedrock to grind acorns and other nuts. Many such depressions can be found in their territories. In Japan, very large mortars are used with wooden mallets to prepare mochi. A regular-sized Japanese mortar and pestle are called a shoribachi and shorikogi, respectively. Granite mortars and pestles are used in Southeast Asia, as well as Pakistan and India. In India, it is used extensively to make spice mixtures for various delicacies as well as day-to-day -day dishes. With the advent of motorized grinders, use of the mortar and pestle has decreased. It is traditional in various Hindu ceremonies to crush turmeric in these mortars. In Malay, it is known as Bata Lesung. Large stone mortars, with long wood pestles were used in West Asia to grind meat for a type of meatloaf, or kibber, as well as the hummus variety known as masabcha. In Indonesia and the Netherlands mortar is known as kobik or tiobik and pestle is known as alekan or oalekan. It is often used to make fresh sambal, a spicy chili condiment, hence the sambal ulek. Oalek denotes its process using pestle. It is also used to ground peanut and other ingredients to make peanut sauce for gado gado. Husking and dehulling large mortars and pestles are commonly used in third world countries to husk and dehull grain. These are usually made of wood and operated by one or more people. Material Good mortar and pestle making materials must be hard enough to crush the substance rather than be worn away by it. They cannot be too brittle either, or they will break during the pounding and grinding. The material should also be cohesive, so that small bits of the mortar or pestle do not mix in with the ingredients. 
Smooth and non-porous materials are chosen that will not absorb or trap the substances being ground. In food preparation, a rough or absorbent material may cause the strong flavor of a past ingredient to be tasted in food prepared later. Also, the food particles left in the mortar and on the pestle may support the growth of microorganisms. When dealing with medications, the previously prepared drugs may interact or mix, contaminating the currently used ingredients. Rough ceramic mortar and pestle sets can be used to reduce substances to very fine powders but stain easily and are brittle. Porcelain mortars are sometimes conditioned for use by grinding some sand to give them a rougher surface which helps to reduce the particle size. Glass mortars and pestles are fragile, but stain-resistant and suitable for use with liquids. However, they do not grind as finely as the ceramic type. Other materials used include marble, stone, wood, bamboo, iron, steel, brass, and basalt. Mortar and pestle sets made from the wood of old grapevines have proved reliable for grinding salt and pepper at the dinner table. Uncooked rice is sometimes ground in mortars to clean them. This process must be repeated until the rice comes out completely white. Some stones, such as molcajeta, need to be seasoned first before use. Metal mortars are kept lightly oiled. Automatic mortar grinder. Since the results obtained with hand grinding are neither reproducible nor reliable, most laboratories work with automatic mortar grinders. Grinding time and pressure of the mortar can be adjusted and fixed, saving time and labor. The first automatic mortar grinder was invented by F. Kurt Rech in 1923. The Rechmal Folklore In Russian tales, Barbie Yaga is portrayed as a hag who flies through the air in a mortar, using the pestle as a rudder. 